Taurus. What's going on, baby? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time, yes indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of July 2019. We got some new deck announcements. Shout out to everyone who's clicked this video. Shout out to everyone who's shown support through PayPal, through the Amazon wish list. Shout out to everyone who's been booking personal private readings. Thank you guys so much for all the love because it is helping the page grow and for me to be able to give you guys awesome content with amazing new decks. So you guys always ask me which decks it is that I am using. So these are the new decks that just came in. So as you guys know, I know y'all done seen this gangster ass Alice decks in the collections and the collective readings. So we will be using that today, the Alice of Wonderland playing card deck. We have the Under the Roses Lenormand deck, which we will be using today as well. Shout out to my baby girl, Callie. Um, she sent over the Hip Hop East versus West playing card deck. We won't be using this today, but you will be seeing that very soon. I'm pretty sure you guys see me use the Music Genius deck. All right. We won't be using that today, though. Um, and we also have the Oracle of Visions Oracle deck. So we will be using that today. So shout out to everyone who has been showing love, light, and support to the page. If anyone would like to book a personal private reading or if any of these videos give you insight and... Um, help and if you just want to send some love to the page or just say thank you you can always contact me through my email if you just want to send you know an email saying thank you or just you know want to just wrap a taste with me a little bit my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com if you want to book with me the booking links and all those you know paypal and um amazon wish this wish list and all that stuff like that is all in the about tab if you want to book with me click the booking link this is scorpion red tarot at simply book me book your reading and then double back and connect with me on instagram or either on google hangouts so we can connect to do the video reading okay so what you need to do is um if you don't have an Instagram, my Instagram link is right under the booking. If you don't have an Instagram, use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. And you can connect with me on Google Hangouts. You guys have a, send me a message on Google Hangouts or on um, Instagram and we'll connect there for the video reading if you guys don't want to get on camera to do a face-to-face -face video reading you have the option to um, select an add-on for a direct video upload you can also use that add-on which is in the menu for your um, reading selection you can also use that if you want me to record the whole um, reading session and upload a private link to it to YouTube so you can go back and watch it because a lot of times you guys ask me questions well what did you say about this and da 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 and a lot of times not a lot of times whenever I disconnect from the energy I never remember what the hell I say so um, if you guys are going to have questions about what was said during the reading it's probably a good idea for you to you know have it recorded so if you guys don't want to get on camera Go ahead and select whichever platform you want to communicate with me on and just send me the question pertaining to the reading that you purchased. Just make sure that you only send me the question pertaining to what you want to know. Don't tell me what's going on around the question uh, because I want to see what spirit has to say and then we can go from there because I don't want you guys to say... <laughs> Sorry. I don't want you guys to say what I just told you that, okay? So anyway, let's get into... <laughs> <laughs> let's get into the readings before we have any more interruptions okay Taurus thank you guys so much Father God thank you guys so much for bringing us here for the sign of Taurus thank you so much for continuously answering our prayers and you know we know that you're never ignoring us you always walking side by side by side with us every day you were holding our hand you were giving us a blueprint to the footsteps that we should walk and you know you're giving us new verbiage new conversation to talk you know it's the you know if you want to be if you want to talk about it be about it and i'm getting that on a very high level with my tourists if you're going to talk about it be about it and Taurus is walking at walking there talking and talk they're showing action and they're not playing around um, I thank you so much for this abundance. I thank you so much for the grace because I believe with Taurus, especially for my female Tauruses right now, they are doing, they are taking action to another level because they're doing it 
with elegance and grace. So thank you so much for helping us mature. And um, learn everything that we need to learn so that um, by the end of this year, just know whatever y'all have on this checklist, by the end of the year, y'all determined to make it happen. And it is written and so it shall be. So, Father God, thank you so much for covering us with blessed love and light. Continue to give us guidance. Give us guidance for the month of July. Thank you so much for keeping us in this high elevation, this high altitude, so we could soar high. And uh, inhale. Inhale and exhale. New blessings and abundance. Please give us guidance for my Taurus. And thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give me guidance. All right. Let's get into this Taurus. Give me guidance for my Taurus. Give me guidance for my... Oh, okay. Hey, they do anything for clout. A whole lot of bitches need a hit list. It's a lot of people on my hit list. It says, what do you desire and ground yourself? So this is what popped out. This is your daily guidance for the month of July. Figuring out what it is that you desire and grounding yourself. Like I said, a walk that walk and a talk that talk, honey. Let's see exactly what this says here. It says you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's truest desire. Once you clearly decide upon your heart's truest desire and know that you are ready and deserving for it, it'll rush into your life as if by magic. Ground yourself. When you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. That's someone living in a fantasy about something. It's like, figure out what you desire, but ground yourself. Don't live in a state of the illusion and a fantasy. Make sure that it's something that's tangible, that's obtainable. You understand? Although it's pleasant to float heavenward. Your attention and work is needed here upon the earth. We're helping you to balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. Okay? So, it's this is basically saying to us to find out what it is that you desire without living in a state of illusion and fantasy. What, it, what, it, what, what do you know that we can really work towards and actually obtain? By the end of the year. Alright, give me guidance for my Taurus. Give me guidance for my Taurus for July 2000. The Eight of Cups. We're going back. It seems like you guys are going back emotionally on something. Something that y'all left behind that y'all thought y'all was over with. Y'all are going back to it, but it seems like... Your emotions is going back to it, but it seems like you're taking a second to really analyze and think about this first. Because you're more emotionally aware. This is something that maybe in the past you felt rejected or you rejected this in the past. You know, and it's like now that I'm in the present, it's like in the past with this four of cups like this, this is someone that... We're sitting back thinking about if they really wanted something or not. You know what I'm saying? Leaving someone in stagnation. It's like someone's hand in the cup. Like, here, do you want this? And they're sitting there like, mm, um, uh, I don't know if I really want I guess I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I take it. I'll think about it. Let me think about it a little bit more. Like, someone did that to Taurus or have a Taurus did that to someone and this person is aware of that moment of how that felt. So it's like even though their emotions are going backwards and emotionally they're thinking about taking a venture back to an old home. A place that they used to have a commitment. A commitment that clearly, you know... It, it, it wasn't necessarily all the way emotionally fulfilling and successful. Otherwise, you wouldn't have left. Because this is someone that left with the shirt on their back. They literally left everything behind and moved on. So, it's like I'm sitting here in a state of contemplation, you know, withdrawing. Trying to come to some type of understanding. 
and using my wisdom to figure out is this really worth my effort to go back to because I was rejected in the past I'm aware of that I'm already self-fulfilled so is this worth my journey what do I desire and ground myself I don't want to be in a place of fantasy and an illusion thinking something that is going to be that is going to be something that is not you know what I'm saying Two of Wands in reverse. Like I said, this is someone that's in some delay. The Queen of Wands in reverse. It's like I just heard you gonna try to manipulate me. This person is angry. I feel like this person is still angry about whatever happened in the past. And I just heard you just going to try to manipulate me. You're going to try to manipulate me. And I feel like someone is pulling at Taurus's emotions. Because what I'm getting right here is like Taurus is not willing to just get up and move i feel i don't know i feel like there's some type of it's like some type of emotional core some type of emotional attachment that someone else has with taurus and i feel like taurus is here taurus is withdrawn i don't feel like taurus is bothering anyone taurus is Focusing on their life. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Taurus is on some old kumbaya, self-meditative. I really don't feel like Taurus wants to be bothered. I don't feel like Taurus wants to be bothered. I don't feel like Taurus wants to be bothered. I feel like someone is playing with their mind. Either they are trying to manifest Taurus back and it's... Fucking with Taurus emotionally, where, and it could be the fucking retrograde. That's what the fuck it is. I feel like someone else is in a state of confusion, and their emotional pull is affecting Taurus in their state of abundance and meditation. But Taurus knows good and goddamn well. It was hard for me to leave that situation in the past. I was, I couldn't figure out if I wanted to stay or go. I'm very much so aware of what that journey and what that destiny has for me. It's going to put me in a place again where I am a temperamental, moody, evil bitch. And I will not communicate with no one that is going to make me feel like that ever again. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because... Taurus is about money. Taurus is about resources. Taurus is about making shit grow and balancing finances. You see what I'm saying? Like dealing with shit that makes sense. You see what I'm saying? And this right here with this energy that I'm getting right here isn't making sense to me. That's why I'm saying this must be like a retrograde pull that's fucking with Taurus right now. And that's why Taurus is like, uh-uh, no bitch. Mm-mm. This ain't even my energy. Like, I feel like this is not Taurus's energy. It's something or some type of gravitational pull on Taurus that's trying to throw Taurus off balance. And I feel like Taurus is just trying to ground themselves because somebody else's pull on them is trying to put Taurus in a state of illusion and fantasy and thinking if they go back to something, the grass is going to be greener when they already been in that forest and they've been in that land and they already know and that's why she said they're going to try to manipulate me that is a lot Oop! but it needed to come out now come on father now come on today and shade the fuck this is shady boots right now this is shading some park this is Shadington Park right now. Some said, wake up. 
to wake up. Listen, somebody, somebody has like Taurus in some type of hypnosis. It's like somebody is pulling on your energy strong. Like I feel like when you in your sleep or something, like you be in this la la land or something or like you be constantly even in the middle of the day like you keep drifting off into this daydream or something of this fantasy of if you go back and you know what i'm saying well, because it, even look at her face you see like how she's looking back at something lo lovingly longingly it's like if i go back it's going to be tulips and butterflies and just this and that and everything is going to be and somebody said wake up bitch wake up Wake the fuck up. Wake up, honey. This, 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 snap out of it. I don't know who pulling on you, who fucking with your energy. Wake up, boo. It's, it's the goddamn retrograde. It's an illusion, bitch. Don't do it. Okay? Okay? It's your moments. Okay? It is your moments right now. Don't let nobody pull on your energy like that. It says you can't go back to yesterday. Is that not shady? <laughs> that is not Shadenton Park. Shadenton Park. Shadyville. Shady McGruff. Okay? Shady McGruffington. Bitch. Okay? Spirit, come on through with the glory and speak today. Because I just told you with somebody pulling on you. I could I swear, because I'm like, this is like, this is not where Taurus is at right now in their state of being. I know where Taurus is at. This don't feel like Taurus. It's like someone done put like some type of hypnotic spell on you or something or, the, or energy, the retrograde en energies got you tripping right now. Wake up. You cannot go back to yesterday. We need you to be in the present moment right now. And the present moment is saying, bitch, right now it is your moment. To design your life to be whatever it wants to be. You want to keep going back? Girl, don't you do it. Listen, we ain't, we, we didn't come thus far for nothing. This wasn't all for naught. This was not all for naught. And then, and then I told you. Y'all about to block the fuck out of some communication. I don't know if y'all about to do some cord cutting or something. Y'all about to block the fuck out of somebody. You do not like the nature of this communication. You're going to wake up and you're going to quickly realize that you cannot go back to yesterday. Because I told you with this four cups in reverse. You remember those days where you were rejected and you were sitting there waiting for someone to give you an answer or something. And they were acting like they weren't that interested in you and they had other opportunities and that you weren't all that and that they had better shit to do. Okay, we'll keep having better fucking shit to do. Be fucking sending this fuck tart. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no, no. Do not send this. Do not send this stupid ass energy over here. Because, listen, the nature of communication, it says flower energy fairy energies elemental messengers so this is like someone trying to use elemental forms of communication like telepathic communication like communicating with you through dreams um you know using other ways of communication like shit they could even be like sending information to you through other people and just all type of shit like that and i feel like it's kind of fucking with your head because it's putting you in a state of illusion and spirit is telling you to wake up it's your moment it's your moment don't allow this person to stagnate your your, your momentum forward because that two wants that's someone that knew before that the best decision for them to do was to get some balance in their life and leave something behind and move forward. And it's like, to where as though you were sure and you were making movements. You know what I'm saying? Preparing yourself to make movements. It's like you taking a second to look back and be like, but wait. Nah, don't but wait nothing. What do you desire and ground yourself upon that? The nine of wands. You guarding yourself from this nine of wands. And the six of pentacles. It's like, because look at the six of pentacles. Look at this. I study this card real hard. Right? You see how Alice is standing on one side and the Mad Hatter is standing on the other side. But the hair is in the middle. 
But all of that food looking like it ain't willing to share and give it to nobody. But yet you sitting there waiting for someone to have equal give and take balance with you. You know what I'm saying? Like you take care of me, I'm going to take care of you. You know what I'm saying? But this person is realizing like the hair in the middle is like I'm, I'm having to give. I'm having to share what I got with two people. I might as well just keep it all to myself. You know what I'm saying? And keep them hoes waiting. You know what I'm saying? Because if I keep them waiting, they'll work harder because they want a piece of what I have. You understand what I'm saying? And they're going to get down there. They're going to shuck and jab. They're going to do my bidding. They're going to do whatever. It's like this person has the power. You know what I'm saying? They have power because, you know, they're going to get to who's deserving. And that's exactly what Taurus is feeling like. It's like, number one, you don't give me your full energy anyway. As quick as you're in, you're out. As quick as you're in, you're out. So I can't go back to yesterday. Yesterday doesn't represent me. Yesterday showed me that I was dealing with people that weren't loyal to me. That wasn't putting the same passion. That was putting the same energy in me. And I was doing so. No, I can't go back to yesterday. Because you, you, you're, you're not worth the energy. This night, of, this night of Wands right here. This is someone that's only good for when the getting is good. But when shit get tough, they're going to leave you stranded. They're going to abandon you. They're going to abandon you. And like I said, in the past, somebody was abandoned. And now they want back. So either it's Taurus wanting back or it's this other person that's wanting Taurus back. And that's pulling on Taurus's energy while they're in a the state of meditation. And Taurus is realizing, uh -uh, I need to guard my motherfucking energy. And I need to wake the fuck up because this person is doing some type of horani tricks or something. I don't know what the fuck type of hoe ass tricks this motherfucker doing. Okay, this is like somebody sitting at home in their cell phone staring at your picture and talking to the picture as if you can hear them. You see what I'm saying? And then you be sitting at home in your meditative state, chilling, and the next thing you know, you like, hold on. Why am I thinking about this person? Like, why am I desiring to look back? Why am I feeling like this person is pulling on me? Because, like, this person is, like, I don't even, I don't think that they realize what they're doing. But what they're doing is fucking with your energy. And I feel like that's exactly what they're doing. They're looking back at these old pictures. Look at, look. You see all of these cups. You see all those cups and all that stuff. You see that state of confusion and everything like that. This person is like, how could I have walked away from... This person was giving me everything. How could I have done that? How could I have done that? You understand what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Nope. Mm-mm. You said, uh-uh. Let me wake the fuck up from this illusion and guard myself. Because I don't know what the fuck this bitch ass motherfucker is over there doing. But I feel this person pulling on me and I want them to stop. And I mean stop right now. Okay. Whatever the fuck you offering. I don't want it. You didn't want it when I was trying to give it to you. It did. Listen. Look at all of the different type of forms that the cups were delivered to this person. You see what I'm saying? Mm-mm. The person said that it didn't want the cups. You didn't want the cups? Cool. I'm cool on it. So... To, ain't no point of you coming back around here. I already know I can't go back to yesterday because you ain't shit. So, like, mm -mm. I have never seen a spread where someone's energy is getting pulled on this hard like that. Like, this is serious. This is serious. And, like, I told you, like, Taurus is going to block this communication. Taurus does not appreciate this nature of communication because it's like, I don't have to give into it if I don't want to. I can just easily just block you because I have all of this stuff on this table and I don't have to give it to nobody if I don't want to. I don't have to give it to no one. And Taurus realized, like, if I give into this nature of communication that they're trying to have with me, I have to be prepared 
to share out what I have. And you see three people there. You ain't just going to have to give it to him. You're going to have to give it to her too. You're going to have to give your energy and your time and your effort. Not only to this person, but to whoever the other person is on the side of them. And you just like, hold on. You I, like, I really do feel like you feel... That whoever this person is coming back to, they always have someone else that they're committed to as well that it's not going to be a fair game. And it's like, if it's not going to be a fair game, I can just block you. I can just block, I will just block your energy altogether and I will just guard myself. I will guard the fuck out of myself. I will go get me some sage and I will spray your ass like raid. Okay, bitch. Raid? Bitch. You're fucking rubbish. Trying to call up in my energy. No. You ain't no friend in me. <laughs> Stop trying to call up in my energy. You is not no friend in me. Give me guidance. Clarify. What do you desire and ground yourself for my Taurus? The Six of Pentacles. This Knight of Wands in reverse. And this Nine of Wands. Listen, like, I ain't getting two eights. Two eights. You taking authority. I'm taking back authority. Excuse me. Taking back authority. Okay? As above, so below. Listen, like it says, And hast thou slain the Jabberwocky? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. Listen. The eights of freaking clubs what this means to me is like find a balance of your work you know what i'm saying this 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 is representing like you putting in hard work to slay the dragon do you understand and it's like i am i'm awoke i've been through too much to to i look i've been through too much i've been fighting too hard it, it, it don't make no sense for me to stop and to give up now and start doing dumb ass shit now you know what I'm saying? I've been fighting all this time. I've been defending myself against you all this time. I got a little bit more fight left in me. Let's rock, nigga. Let's fucking rock. Ain't that an A2? Listen. No, it's not. It's the 9. But I'm just saying, just let's let's rock. I'm, I'm willing to defend myself at all costs. Like, you want to know what I desire? I don't desire you, and I don't like your form of communication. I'm guarding myself, and I'm going to put in whatever work I need to put in to get you the fuck away from me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Has thou slayed the Jabberwocky, all right? Let me cut you down in size real quick and just show you that your, your interest in me is not required, nor is it desired. It says you balance an ill on the end of your nose what made you awful, awfully so clever what made me so clever is that i done been through this mistake before i done made this mistake before i did not become this clever by being no spring chicken once you bump your ass once you bump your head a few fucking times you learn not to do it again you learn not to do it again so what do you mean listen your knight of wands, you're only in, in for it when the getting is good. I done deal with this shit with you before. So, like, it, it's... <laughs> you can't go back to yesterday. I gotta be in the present. I can't be locked into fantasies and shit from yesteryears. Like, when I first met you and you were being good. and when, Like, bitch, that was... That was an illusion then. <laughs> like, that was a fucking illusion then. Clarify this nature of communication in reverse in the Six of Pentacles. Come on now. That was an illusion. You, you, don't, you don't learn how to balance the eel on the tip of your nose being a fucking fool. You understand? I done made many mistakes to figure out how to, how to get this skill like this. Okay? So in regards to the Six of Pentacles in reverse... It's the ten of hearts. It says, I am real. If I wasn't, I shouldn't be able to cry shit. Mm. And then we got the two. It says, the race is over, but who won? And I'll see you safe to the end of the woods. So basically what this is saying is, this is an ending. This is the conclusion in this love journey. You understand? So it's like, and you got to understand the retrograde is to close and finalize chapters. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing that this dude 
for you is to show you how balanced and how secure you are. You are armed and you're going to protect yourself. And by all means, you're going to show that, listen, I run shit around here. I'm prosperous. I'm ambitious. I'm abundant. I'm manifesting greatness. And no one will get in the way. You know? What, what you give, you receive back. And listen, what they give, they receive right back. You rejected me. You didn't respect me. I'm rejecting you and I don't respect you. Move the fuck out my way because I done walked into a better day and you ain't got no parts of it. I don't want no parts of my past. So let me go ahead and slay this Jabberwocky and just sh and show, and show motherfuckers how to do this. How to do this. About to show people how balanced I am. I don't have time for this shit. Don't be pulling on my fucking energy. Do you understand what I'm saying? I done ended this cycle and my heart is re... I've revisited how good it feels to rebirth myself in love again. You know what I'm saying? If love wasn't real, if I wasn't real, I wouldn't have been able to cry and feel and go through everything that I went to be the strongest latest to to really end this shit because i feel like before like it was Taurus was waiting for someone to make a decision for them in regards like if they wanted to be here like Taurus is like no i'm making the motherfucking decision you know if love wasn't real i wouldn't be able to have felt this heartbreak that I felt in this situation. So yes, love is real. And because I know that I know that I have the opportunity to love again. I'm renewed. I'm refreshed. I believe in love. No one. And I mean absolutely no one will take that from me. No one. So let me end this for good. Hast thou slain thine Jabberwocky? Indeed I did ending it done done i don't have to give what i have to you or to nobody that isn't deserving of what i have to give and when i give what i have i'm I, i'm not gonna have i have no problem with giving what i have but it's only the people that deserve it i don't felt heartbreak i know it's real hmm I felt it. I know it's real. Look back for what? It's done. Two of clubs. The race is over, but who won? This is balancing of your time and your effort. Um, this is all. I mean, this is this is also a card to me of like more opportunities coming your way that. You have space to kind of work on and grow um, and just like kind of making decisions and balancing your time and your effort, you know, because the situation in the past, I feel like you put a lot of work into it, but who ended up winning the end of that race? Nobody. So this is like balancing yourself so that you make it sure that your time and your efforts is worth worthy of it so that you can reap the results, you know, that you can reap the results. And right here. With this um, uh, 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 jack of diamonds, this is like I really do feel like this is spiritual. Um, this is like God. These are your spiritual guides. Like you closed this chapter. You stood up for yourself. You've learned how to balance your time and efforts with people, and not. Put your energy in situation when when the race is over, ain't no one win shit. I'll see you safe to the end of the woods. This is your spirit guide telling you. They're sending you spiritual messages and telling you you are protected. I will see you safely out of this. I will see you safely out of this. We're going to conclude this journey today. Ground yourself. Figure out what you desire. I got your back. You understand me? You understand me. Um, let's do some quick clarifications just so you guys can know. Let's do some quick clarifications. So let's click since I'm on the space, let's clarify um this eight of spades right here. Like I said, 
you ain't get this smart, you ain't get this clever by no reason. It says traditionally a card of disappointment, illness, and physical restriction, a loss of balance, a lack in reciprocation, unrequited love, something one-sided, not mutually beneficial, physical imbalance, health problem, mental imbalance, a doctor, a dentist, a psychiatrist, a wound, pain, insults, feeling slighted or snubbed, hurt feelings, emotional upset, Reassessing one's goal, examining one's accomplishments, investigating or researching a problem, a medical exam, civil service exam, scholastic exam, forensic exam, police investigation. So like I said, in regards to this one, you've learned enough to know how to reassess and examine your goals and accomplishments in regards to this. You know, this situation was one-sided. It was not mutually beneficial. It was an unrequited love. This person is not in it for me. They only in it to get their dick wet, to, to make their poom poom throb, and to get a climax. And as soon as it's over, they out the door. I'm not able, I haven't, I haven't got to this point to make decisions like this if I haven't made mistakes before in my life I done been through this disappointment I done felt love sick you know what I'm saying I done, I done, I done, I've been hurt like this before why put myself through this again the eight of clubs this represents the day to day activities or work routine it indicates how someone spends their time it's the greater part of their day and they're working. This is the card of work. It can represent a job or what one does for a limit, a living. It can denote working something out. It could also mean a card of business or social sharing or or reciprocation. I don't know why I can't never goddamn fucking pronounce that card. I mean pronounce that. It can indicate conversation, discussions, meetings, conferences, seminars, symposium, forums, a round table discussion. Like I said, you're guarding yourself. You woke up, you're meeting with this person to slay this shit down once and for all. And you come unarmed. You come unprotected. Like I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you. I done, I, done, I done got rid of you before. I'm going to get rid of you once and fucking for all. Once in the fuck for all. The two of clubs represents a social or business invitation, business or social correspondence, or any kind of benefits. Receive or exchange a gift of birthday or anniversary present. Something given or receiving, not limited to material things. The gift could be someone's time or energy given freely okay it may be a piece of helpful advice or a special favor or even a bit of good news a clock time like i said being balanced and what you're putting your time and your effort in because at the end of the day when it's all said and done who won the race no one no one won that fucking race let's see the ten of hearts the ten of hearts means victory emotional fulfillment happiness enjoyment amusement emotional commitment marriage compatibility heat warm weather summer time summertime so like i'm trying to tell you it says i am real if i wasn't real i shouldn't be able to cry right why should I give anything to you? Why should I give anything to you? I don't like the, the nature of your communication. It's the summertime, is it not? Shit is hot. Shit is steaming. Tens represents the end of chapters. I'm like... I f <laughs> hey, I'm recording. Can I call you right back? Okay, bye. Anyway, it's like what I'm what I'm feeling is it's like oh God, every time they do that, they throw me the fuck off. I feel like Taurus's heart is beating all over again. 
because they want true love like they want marriage they want commitment they want emotional fulfillment they want victory do you understand what i'm saying if it wasn't real they wouldn't have been able to cry and experience the pain that they did in the past to close this chapter to be able to walk towards to this fulfillment and not only that but to give their time and their investments wisely and be more selective to who they give their energy you know and like i said this two of clubs can represent a present or a gift. Even your time is a precious gift. And knowing that, you know what I'm saying? And knowing that it's precious and it's sacred. And just because people come around you begging for your energy doesn't mean that you need to give it to them freely. Give it to people who deserve it. Okay? The Jack of Diamonds. A young person of average sex, most often a male, intelligent, energetic, dynamic, a student, a relative by marriage, the start of a financial venture, a written message, a message about finances, a financial statement, a check, a receipt, a money transfer, a message from your spiritual guys. I told you a place of higher learning. I told you guys, you guys are definitely going to get protection. You guys are going to see feathers flying about. You guys are going to be protected and you are going to have protection in regards to this communication. And I don't think, and like I said, it might not be a face to face confrontation. It may just be, because like I said, this person is using other forms of communication with you versus communication, communicating with you face to face. And the Eight of Wands does represent to me a lot of, um, Rapid communication and fast communication is like text messages, social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, you know, you know, FaceTime. Mm. <coughs> Fucking goddamn interruptions. So basically what I'm getting right here, I feel like in order for you to figure out how to move forward, you got to always look back at your past. Look at the past and figure out what it has given you. Look back at your own motion picture of your life and it'll give you the secrets to everything that you need to know how to move forward in life and love. Do you understand? Look at all of those faces of all of the people. Go back and look at the pictures of people that you dated in the past. Think about those experiences. Think about what you've learned. Think about that journey, your whole journey of your life. You, like look back at your motion picture. You know what I'm saying? Each one of those faces tell a story of what you were and who you were and that journey that you experienced during that time in your life it'll literally give you the password and the key towards the blessings of this new journey and that's why i'm trying to tell you you are the master of your fate and the captain of your own destiny do you understand what i'm saying i'm seeing authority authority eight that represents authority give me guidance to the secret give me guidance to the secret to the secret box courthouse message of concern thoughts Coffin. Oh my goodness. I feel like you being called in, like you being summoned. I told you, you are energetically being summoned. You are energetically being summoned to be issued a verdict. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you have some concerns about like this summons, this form of communication that you have been, that you received. You understand what I'm saying? Like you've been court ordered. And the message that you get is going to be a little alarming. It's going to be a little alarming. And you're going to be like, what the fuck? 
I feel like it's going. I feel like it's going to be like a tower moment or something. It's going to take you by shock. This person trying to communicate with you and what they're saying to you, you know, it's going to take you by shock, and you're going to be like, "What the fuck could this person?" One, I thought this situation was dead already. Look at you over here. You painting a new picture of your life. Like, what the fuck could this person already... I thought this shit was dead already. I thought this shit was fucking dead already. I thought this shit was dead already. Give me guidance into what will be seen when we look back into our life. What messages do we have back there? Wealthy man. I feel like in your past you had someone that gave to you. Gadgets. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I feel like whoever this person is, is an engineer or they do something with like technology or like they are... Like they do something with IT or something like that. They do something with some type of IT or they're always on the fucking computer or something like that. And this person tried to portray itself as a wealthy man, but it was an illusion. This person was a thief. This person was a thief. What is this? Pathway to the mature woman. Yeah, this person portrayed their self as a wealthy man. You understand? That they know all this stuff about technology and they... Always into the latest gadgets and stuff like that. But the shit was a con. You see how this woman is trying to lure this man and to pay attention to her all the while. Like this motherfucker is getting robbed of, of time and of their watch and just material possessions. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person presented themselves as a wealthy man. Like they had all of this shit. Like they go on all these business trips and their IT executive or they, they do this and they do that. Whole time that shit was a motherfucking con. They were just trying to find a pathway to a mature woman. That they can take from. That's what's in your past. Pay attention to everything. That you learned in your past. For dealing with this person. And with other people. And it'll give you everything that you need to see. In order to this. Call a judgment. That you want to be made in the future. Because you already have the answers. You already have the answers Taurus. What do you desire. And ground yourself. Do not let nobody put you in a state of illusion because I feel like this person is going to um, message you with some concerns. Yes, the rider and the ring. This person is going to come back wanting to be very chivalrous. This person is going to come back to you very determined. You know, like they're going to like possibly pop up on you with a ring. And they're going to try to make it seem like it's fake for us to be with each other and everything like that. But this might be a serious cross to bear. You know what I'm saying? It may be a serious cross to bear. Um, And I do feel like a lot of you guys have been possibly praying. Who is this though? Who is this? Give me more guidance. Mountain. Uh-uh. I feel like this person... They go that... They go that eight of... That eight of... That eight of clubs again. So, this person is going to come pop up on you. This is an old lover. Okay? This is an old lover. This is someone from your past. They are making a journey towards you. So, just be prepared. Because I feel like once you block them from being able to communicate with you on their line, online, they're going to pop up on you. They're going to get in their vehicle or whatever they need to. And they're going to come pop up on you. And... They want a brand new start. They want to work on this again. They're going to come and they're going to offer you commitment. You know, they feel like 
they feel spiritually guided and led to be with you. They feel like they've seen the light. They feel like you give them balance and, you know... I feel like, number one, I feel like they're going to come back to you. They're going to be complaining about so either someone died in their family or they're going to be coming to you in mourning because of someone that's passed. And they're going to be sending you messages of, of concern as if they're in need. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have any thoughts about this because after this person, whoever died, they been died years and years ago. And this person could be should be over this and they're just using this as a form of manipulation to find some reason to communicate with you. And you're going to block them because your thoughts is just you're looking at this with concern like, like you're really looking at this shit like. Is this really like the. The, the picture that this person is painting to you, you, you're like, but this shit ended a long time ago. Like, maybe this, like, this shit ended a long time ago. Or either you are looking at it like, why are you communicating with me? This shit ended a long time ago. The, the, the answers to what you need to do and how to address this in court is in the past. The answers is always in how this person treated you in the past. But this person is going to run to you. They're going to pop up on you once you block them. With a ring. With communication. With commitment. Professing their love. Proposing to you. Okay? Greeting you with affection. Wanting to start anew. They feel like this is fate. They feel spiritually led to you. They feel like... Even though that they know, they know that there's a lot of worry, there's a lot of concerns, you know, they know that, they know that, they know that there's a lot of concerns because there was a lot of pain and there was a lot of deceit and manipulation and stuff that's buried under this cross. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's a lot of shit that's buried under this cross. Like I said, this shit died a long time ago. But this person wants to dig this shit back up. This person feels like it's fate. This person is knows that it's going to be an obstacle with you. You know what I'm saying? And that there's a barrier there. And that there's blockages there. And I definitely feel like... Let's see what's real quick. What's on the other side of this mountain? What's on the other side of this challenge? This barrier, this blockage, this delay. This inability to... Because it's like this rider is coming with this commitment and with their heart to bear. They're going to, you know, but they're going to come to this mountain. It's going to be blocked. A child. It's going to be blocked because of a child. A child, a situation with a child or a new child birth. Or the expectation of a child is going to cause a blockage. It's going to cause a challenge. It's going to cause a delay. It's going to cause an inability for this person. Like I said, this king of wands to commit. Because this person has a child obligation with someone else. Let me get one more card. What's on the other side of this child? What did it say? Ooh, the snake. Mm, 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 mm. So, it's been illuminated to you. You have clear vision. You can see that this person is a snake. This person is a snake. And this person is just trying to come to you to see if they could get some type of reward, merit, or good fortune and luck in this situation. Like I said, this person already said in the past that this person is a is is portrayed themselves as a wealthy man that they were a thief that they were just trying to find a pathway to a mature woman this person is riding towards you trying to offer you commitment again coming off giving herself off as the wealthy man to 
you know, give an illusion that they're coming to commit. They got a heavy cross to bear. They know under this cross that what's buried under there is a lot of deceit, deception, worry, you know. But they're going to come and tell you this is faith and all of this stuff. But they're going to be blocked. Because there's a child that you don't know about. Okay? And this is going to be illuminated to you. Because like I told you, your spiritual guides have been sending you messages. And they're, they said they're going to protect you out of this. Your spiritual guy said, this person has a child on the way. You need to see this. This person is a fucking skate. Is, is a fucking snake. This is a trickster. This is an illusionist. This person is destructive. You know? This person is portraying themselves to be something that they're not. Just because they're coming over here trying to find balance, good luck, and fortune. Just like they did in the past. The answers to your future is in the past. Look at your motion picture of what you experienced previously in your life with this person. And it will tell you the answers. They didn't accept you. They didn't want you. They left you. Like you want nothing in the past. So what do you think is going to give you anything different in the present? Last one. Reflections. It says give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith. All will work out for the best. Continue to reflect. Like I said. If you want to know what the future may hold for this person. Look back at what they did in the past. And don't let no one make an ass of you. Do not let... The retrograde make an ass of you, Taurus. Taurus, I love you. If this video has resonated with you at all, y'all go ahead and hit that like button or whatever. And listen, like I said, you ain't no motherfucker spring chicken. You don't been through this shit with this motherfucker before. Tell that nigga next. I'm gone.